So I'm currently looking at different amps like Meza Boogies and um, Line 6 tube amps. Um, the reason why I'm considering Line 6 tube amps um, and their solid state heads like the Veta and the AHD 147 and so forth is just that they're, they're flexible, they have a lot of sounds on them and um, they're, they're really versatile amps and I know what I want to play but I'm in getting involved in gym guitars and stuff like that and those guitars are really flexible like you can you can see a, somebody playing a gym in a country setting or rock setting or a shred setting and uh, I want something really flexible like that so I, so I was considering um, Mizza Boogie or um, Line 6 products um, definitely considering the um, their um, Helix Helix and their rack mounted effect or rack mounted um, um, multi effects uh, pods and so forth. Um, I, I was I've been looking into um, getting a um, a possibility a possibility of getting a um, an axe effects, but it, whenever I look at that, it just seems so complicated and I just wouldn't understand it. So that's why I keep going back to the Helix. Helix and Helix, but if I go down that road, or the Mesa Boogie Road, or the Mesa Boogie Road, I have, or I'm also considering carbon amps. Um, the reason why, it, reason why I'm thinking about carbon amps is because Steve Vai's Legacy amp is really, really clean, and it's really um, constructed in such a way that it feeds off those types of effects processors and so forth, and that's 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 really what I'm kind of looking for. Um, I've been looking at a carbon, a carbon legacy, which, <clears throat> which, you know, would be fine because I'll be able to put it, the, the smaller one, put it in a, um, a, um, a rack type situation like right here. Um, but, but it, it's, it's, it's a big decision because, it, you know, if you go down one amp maker, you want to kind of stick with that amp maker because you know kind of know what they offer and how and how to do things how to do do things like on a mesa boogie you um you don't need to bias bias them you can just pop in tubes and whatever but with the carbon amps and so forth you have to bias them and and so forth um they don't have that luxury of a um um of a self-biasing um self-biasing um one of the cool things is that you can get a car the carbon draw or drive preamp and that's something i've been looking at too i just looked looked at getting and i'm going to get is the diesel diesel preamp that they have um this this if i go down the carbon legacy the carbon legacy road um this would be a be a a, a purchase as well Um, but they have their V3 mo or models and so forth. Now, I heard people doing reviews on the V3s. And um, I heard that they give bad feedback. And that, that would kind of suck um, if you're playing live and it's just a bunch of squealing from the, the harmonics off the tubes or something. I mean, I guess that's what you would call when the, when the tubes pick up additional frequencies from your playing or, so, or whatever. Um I'm also looking at getting one of these heads, um, you know, just kind of like we'll get one head one month, another head another month, and so forth. Um, are, are these sound pretty good? They sound pretty pretty well overdriven um, amps, um, and possibly getting a, a vintage series. I, I see them on Guitar Center for like 400 bucks, which is dirt cheap. I I, cons I consider for a um, tube tube combo, um, but but going back to the um, Steve Vai Legacy, um, I just I just don't see a lot of artists playing them. But I want a crystal I want a good tone where I can plug in and get that get that get that um, the the and use the effects processor as much as possible. Now I know that they have a stereo powered tube amp. This is something I would I would consider getting as well. Um, I'm trying to think. The Guitar Center had this for like 300 bucks on on their website when it, when a, 
pre-owned, of course. Um, so that's something I definitely would almost pick up if I had the money to pick it up. But I could use that with a poss the possibility of a um, uh, Line 6 Helix or, what, or whatever. Um, but, um... But I guess you have to buy the foot switch separate. I mean, if you buy it new, them new, I guess you have to buy the foot switch separate. I mean, um, I mean, sometimes they do give a, or they they include them in the actual head or whatever um, when you purchase a head or a product. Now, another thing I, would, I think is really cool is how they do the the the. Um, the cabinet here I mean that's really cool I like the the backs here look at all that detail it looks very stylish and I think that's really cool it doesn't look very thick and I guess it uses Celestian vintage 30s um, definitely a slick um, slick product I don't like the green but the, it looks like they're only selling it in green right now But that's just my take on the Carbon Legacy and Carbon and Amps in general. Um, I don't know what I'm going to get in the future. Um, I'm going to have to decide in a month or so, a month or two, about what I'm going to be getting. And hopefully I make the right choice tone-wise. And something that's going to be flexible, yet heavy enough, yet um, ver versatile enough to be able to, to do what I want to do. And hopefully I make the right decision.